Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers, so if you want to help me out, make sure to subscribe. Now enjoy the video. Oh, hey, how you doing? You don't seem familiar around here. Are you new? Are you here to stop one of our Team Star plans? And if so, I'm going to have to spin you right back around like a disc and tell you to leave. Because we don't want any more spoilers to our plans, you heard? Oh, okay. So, you're here to actually join my crew in Team Star. Well, you picked the right choice, because I'm Gaiamoko, the Dark Team Star leader. I'm here to spin up tracks and also spin my way into victory with any type of Pokemon battle with my Dark types. Oh, so you know who I am. So let me ask you this, are you a fan of my music or are you a fan of my team here? Both. Well, that's a first. I never had any type of people really come up to me about my music and my skills as a Pokemon trainer. Hmm. Well, I mean, if you want to be a part of my team, you're going to have to show me your skills and also the Pokemon that you use. Because clearly, I think that dark type Pokemon are the superior type of Pokemon. Although they get a bad rep in my community, this musical melody is here to stay. And with my dark type Pokemon, they can throw down any type of day. Mm-hmm. So, what type of Pokemon do you have on your team? Mostly dark types. Hmm. See, you say the word mostly, and that makes me concerned. Because dark types are superior. D do you hear what I said? Dark types are superior. As in super. So please show me what type of dark type Pokemon you have in your arsenal. <laughs> hmm. I see, I see. You got three dark types on your team. I recognize one of them because I have one of those on my team. Of course. Every team star leader has one inside of their cars. It's a Vreverum. Or Vroom. I can't really tell the difference at times because, well, they look similar. In their evolutions, that is. Yes, they are an engine, but we have about three of them in each of our team star cars. It powers up the car, and it acts like a whole mobile Pokemon that you can stand on while you battle. Yeah, it's really cool, but with my car, I spoofed it up a little bit. I added a few speakers in the back so my music can be playing throughout the battles. Because you see, my music is superior. It gets to keep the battle going and the Pokemon pumped up. Well... In one case, there was this one kid that tried to battle me. <laughs> you could have known what that happened to them. My music was so powerful that their Pokemon were getting annoyed. And they didn't really listen to their trainer. So you could say it's a little bit of a counterbalance when it comes to my battling. It kind of dizzies their Pokemon makes them aggravated. In short, they don't know what to do. 
So my Pokemon gets rid of them just like that. And every step of my battle is kind of like a beat. You see, with every Pokemon I send out, they always fight to the instrumental that I put on. So if it's like a hard type of uh, thumping bass to it, I send out my more hard-hitting Pokemons. And if it's more of a fast-type Pokemon, I s spin up a little bit more of a faster track for them so they can stay on tempo while they fight. Mm-hmm. Yep. All my moves are based on the music I put on for my Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Well, I take my job as a DJ seriously. It depends on what type of music I put on puts in the mood for my Pokemon. Mm-hmm. So... If you want to be a part of my team, you're going to have to sign a contract, you heard? Alrighty then, come here, come sit down. Sign right about here and here. There you go. And, uh, initials here. Uh, date of birth here. Because you do need to be a certain age to be on my team, by the way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, perfect. You are. All right. And then uh, another initials here. And if anything happens to you, I would like to have your parental guardian's name here. I always look out for my team, you know. If you get hurt during a wild encounter with a Pokemon or even one of them giants, titans, I gotta make sure you're okay and know where to send you. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna need your full signature, that means your full name, right at the bottom of that piece of paper right there. Perfect, perfect. Let me just get that back from you. Alrighty. Now, it might take a few days for you to get in because we have to send these papers over to the boss. <laughs> well, I am of the boss of this area, but our boss boss has to go through all types of paperwork so our new recruits can get actually recruited. Do you understand what I'm trying to play down? All right, all right, all right. And that's about it, really. Besides your Pokemon that you need to train and also get more Dark-type Pokemons, you're all set. All right. Oh, really? You do have a love for music? <laughs> well, I'm guessing you and I are going to get quite along together. Yeah. What kind of music do you mix up a little bit? Do you use scratching boards? Do you use a type of pad? Scratching. Oh, you a scratcher. Okay. Well, maybe one of these days I'm going to have to call you back here and maybe have you on one of my sets I play for the people. Of course. Anyone on my team is perfectly fine to be in my c concerts. <laughs> but of course. Anything for my teammates. Now, if you just don't mind me, could you please get on going? Because I got a few things I got to work on here. You know, a few more records here, training my Pokemon there, paperwork here. You know, the, the stuff you, a boss would have to do by himself. All right, all right, all right. I'll be seeing you later, new recruit. By the way, don't forget, I'm going to have you on stage. 
Oh, that's gonna be in maybe a few days or so. Like I said, you're not part of the team yet. But once you do be the part of the team, you'll be on stage with me, scratching it up, flipping some music over, DJing a bit, making remixes, all that good stuff. Yep. Alrighty. I'll talk to you soon then. See you later.